Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Happy holidays and happy new year to everybody. So it has been a little while since I've uploaded. It's been, geez, I think it's been 18 days. So I apologize. Just took some time off for the holidays. and I spent some time with the family and it's been quite busy lately. But I wanted to get this new little uh, RC buggy from DRC review that I've had for a while. So this is the HS14331. This is a little brush powered buggy. So by that, by brush, I mean brush motor, it's not brushless, but it is pretty cool. And it does have some metal uh, shocks. So they are not oil filled. We'll take a closer look at that in just a minute. But it has a wheelie bar in the back here, which I'll show you whenever I flip it around. I'm gonna move the box out of the way. It does have full ball bearings. Again, those metal shocks and it has some modular style uh, lithium ion batteries. High uh, torsion, they say, <laughs> I think they high torque. Steering servo. And this motor in here is a 390 brush motor. So let's let me move a few things here and we'll take a closer look. Now, one thing I really like about this is on the body clips, they have these little rubber straps, which is really cool. So, you know, you're like me, you go out and drive a car and you're, oh geez, you know, the, the body clip fell off. You have a rack and it falls off. Now they're not expensive, but you have to you know, mess with, you know, uh, replacing them. These little rubber straps will keep them from falling off whenever they, um, bump into something. So this is a pretty a pretty neat idea. So I, I do like that. I've not seen that any of these more budget oriented RC. So I just really like that this will keep the body clips from being lost. And then here is that uh, wheelie bar on the back. We'll have to see if that's needed on a uh, brush powered, but it is nice that they do include it on this car. So let's go ahead and take a look at the accessories really quick and then we'll get underneath the uh, body and let you guys see what's underneath the hood, so to speak. So you get, get a rather lightweight, you know, it's not the highest quality little pistol grip controller. You'd have your speed dual right here to adjust your top end, uh, of the, you know, the top end speed of the car. And then here is your steering trim on this, uh, what next to my thumb there. So just two adjustments. Your batteries, of course, go on the bottom. It does have a phone grip, so that is nice to keep your fingers from slipping. You got your forward, reverse, and brake by tapping forward is your brake. And then you get the two batteries. These are these lithium ion. They are two cell or 7.4 volt and they're 1300 milliamp hour. And it does say these are lithium ion in here. So it's not a light bulb, but almost the same thing. They do use a Dean's plug over here and here's your balance plug. So you need to use the provided USB charger for these, unless you've got some sort of a uh, extension cable because connecting the balance plug to a hobby grade charger, you would need a little a balance plug extension wire to go into your charger and then you could charge this which you can buy those so that would be something you might want to consider so you like i said you get you get two of these so that is nice that they give you an extra they also give you a Phillips screwdriver which you always do uh expect as one of these and a pretty decent instruction manual as well all right let's go ahead and take a look underneath uh the body so i just need to pull these body clips off and it's pretty easy with the rubber straps because you can just kind of pull on the, you know, really quick. You don't have to worry about them flying off and losing them on the floor. And there are some LED lights here. So you have a couple in the front bumper and then a couple up on top, uh, four of them up top. And I believe those are gonna be white. So you can see that obviously the, the whole body doesn't come off because you've got those, the wire in here. So you need to unplug this from the receiver so let me just move the, my little stand out of the way to get a little bit more room. And here is the inside. So I could unplug this, but for the sake of this review, I'm just gonna leave it plugged in. But you got your 390 brush motor right here. You could pull this little hazard warning. They're basically just telling you this is hot, be careful. Obviously these little cooling fins on here are gonna get warm. So after you run the, the vehicle, this will be very hot, but this is to help the air movement come through here and, and radiate the heat away from the motor because when a, when a motor brushed or brushed just gets too hot that's when things begin to fail like the ball bearings and components what can fail here is your steering servo now it runs over into here it's a little bit maybe a little hard to see but it is one of those five wire so it's not a three wire steering servo so it's one of those ones that if you needed to replace this you would have to replace all the electronics uh, with a different radio system or you'd have to just uh, find another five wire because there is your receiver and your electronic speed controller built into one then again this is your power wire 
for your LED lights going up front. And then I think there's another one over here that runs up to the front bumper. Now here are these metal shocks and they do say that they are metal and they are pretty nice, but unfortunately they're not oil filled. And you can tell by the screw in the top of the cap, that means this is gonna be the kind that you're not gonna be able to add oil to them. So it's nice that they're metal, but they are just friction shocks. So they are a bit bouncy. Um, sometimes that's not that bad on these toys. And you know, oil is always better, but sometimes I've had some just friction shocks that have worked perfectly fine for the vehicle. So it's not always a bad thing. And then you just got your uh, your tires here. They, you can see there's no foam running in them, but they, they should be fine for this vehicle. A lot of plastic components, you know, your your tie rods and your and, and stuff like that on here are just, your turnbuckles are just plastic. And it is four wheel drive, but these are just a, a compound plastic dog bone. Um, it is metal inside of here, but the actual dog bones are plastic, so. Yeah, a lot of composite plastic, but again, that's not necessarily a bad thing. The composite plastics are much stronger than the cheap ABS they used to use years ago. So a vehicle like this, you're less likely to break it because there's some give and there's some bend to the plastic. So it's not going to just immediately snap where it's not, it's not brittle. But when you, if you drive this out in really cold weather, it's going to get a little bit more brittle. So do keep that in mind in the wintertime, you'd be more likely you could break the plastic on this vehicle. All right, guys, that wraps up the quick table review for this HS14331. Let's get outside and see how this little uh, vehicle performs. So I'll be right back. All right, so let's take it out for a quick test drive here just in front of my house today. Pretty chilly day today. So this will be sort of a short uh, drive review. But yeah, you can see here's those white LEDs I wanted to show you here in the front bumper and up on top of the car. Just kind of looks like a, what you call a side-by-side off-road, you know, two people in this one, drive, you know, the driver and a passenger. Just a cool looking little RC car that would be great for someone probably a bit younger just get into RC. So let's just toss it down here. And it bounced a little bit there. So you can see the, that's why we want to see how those friction shocks work. So that's just here, just giving a little bit of throttle just to test out the steering. And of course it's all fully proportional. The steering's pretty good. It's about half, half speed there. Not bad. Let's get it out here and kind of open it up and get it to full speed. And that's top speed right there. That's actually not too bad. You know, it's, again, it's just a 390 brush motor. So not, not super quick. But uh, not slow either. Yeah, not bad. About what you expect from a 390 uh, size brush motor. Looks like I got it uh, trimmed up pretty good too. It's not pulling or anything. Maybe just a hair to the left, but uh, not a whole lot. Let's just trim it a little bit more. Sometimes, you, usually when you get one of these cars out and you power it up, you can kind of trim it on, on your table. Just if you see the wheels look like they're, you know, slightly turned to one direction. Yeah. Let's bring it into the yard here. See how this almost makes like an obstacle course. Oh, and everyone, see all these flags in the yard. They're gonna be telephone companies bringing fiber optic out here, so they're gonna be hopefully not messing the yard up too much. But <laughs> that's why there's all these flags that almost make a little obstacle course going around these flags. But yeah, I mean it's a little bouncy, but. That's to be expected with the friction shocks, but it's got pretty good power. All these RCs nowadays, even if you're on a brush motor, when you're using a LiPo or a lithium ion pad, they just provide such good punch and power compared to what you would see usually going on the nickel cadmium, nickel metal hydrate. Didn't quite, didn't quite always have that punch and that kind of power. What I want to do now is I, I'm going to go grab my ramp. I forgot to get it out, so I'll pause the video. I want to see if a couple of jumps to the little ramp. This will be perfect size for that ramp, so I'll be right back. All right, got the ramp out here. I had to go hunt it down. Let's just see how this does. I need. I think there's a car coming here, so let me get over here. Yeah. And try to see if we can 
Get a few jumps in here with it. Oop, missed the ramp. That wasn't a very good one. Let's move this over a little bit so I can stand in here and try it. This isn't a very big ramp, so it can, it's not the easiest to, to really hit this ramp full speed. Whoa, as you guys can see. So it's better for these smaller uh, cars like this. Not too bad, getting a bit bouncy. They're trying to hit this full speed. Whoa, <laughs> you can see what happened there. Only got two wheels on the ramp. Ooh, hit the, that was a good durability test. Ran into the tire on the van. Oh. Yeah, pretty rugged. I mean, no issues. And like I said, it is cold. I was mentioning how cold it could ooh, cause issues with the plastic being a little more brittle, but it's not that cold. It's just in the mid 30s Fahrenheit. So, whoa! I get a little road rash. It's hard to hit that ramp. Ooh, that was a great jump. Look how well that landed. That's what I wanted to do. Get a nice, clean run at the ramp there so we see how it landed. But that was really stable. That's what you want to see. Means that the vehicle's nice, weighted properly. Ooh. We'll try and get one more run like that, and then we'll end it. Why keep hitting the tire on the van? Ooh. Yeah, it's not easy to hit that ramp. I've had better luck. In the past, I think it's partially because it's a little cold and my fingers are a little numb. Yeah, that was perfect. Yeah, this is a nice little car. I don't know exactly the price on this. I will include a purchase link in the video description and the pinned comment because, you know, DRC was kind enough to send this out to me in exchange for a review. So as long as it's a reasonable price, I think this would be good. So if you got, if you're a kid and you got some Christmas money or parents that wants to spend some Christmas money that the kid got and they're looking for our first RC. As long as this is reasonably priced, like, you know, I think if it's under a hundred dollars, it wouldn't be bad. Ideally, if it's like, you know, 60 to $80 and it could be a lot less. I just don't remember, um, I mean, it is brush powered, you know, brushless stuff's coming down in price so much that you don't want to overpay on something brushless, uh, I'm sorry, something brushed whenever you can get something brushless for not much more. And here we can see the pin, the body clip came out and we didn't lose it because of the rubber strap. So that's awesome. The, the, the uh, body clip is a little bit bent. So it's wanting to fall out rather easily, but there it is still on. All right, guys, that wraps up the review for the little DRC buggy. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. Why don't you click the bell, that way you know if every time I do upload a new video. And as always, guys, have a great day. The power of the dark side, side, side.